Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day in the market. It's February 9th, Thursday. <clears throat> We're gonna look at some uh, technical analysis. Spy, GME, BY, everything pretty much sold off today. Um, I got in trades, I got out of trades. What's going on with BBBY? Sub up, like up, comment down. Happy money sticks around. Follow us on Twitter at happymoneyyt, as well as our Discord server. Link for those are in the description. Um, yeah, spy pretty big reversal today. I mean, not even a reversal. It gapped up. Uh, I'm not sure the reason for the gap up, but it's up almost 1% at open. And basically just stair step sold off all day. So looks like it's getting ready for some CPLI action. I was kind of expecting, I guess it could still be chopping, but today's a pretty big red candle. So it might continue to chop. We'll, we'll see if, if it closes down here at the lows, that'll be pretty bearish for tomorrow. But if we get a pretty good bounce, then might still be in this range until CPLI next week. Um, but yeah, it's, it's looking bearish pretty much on the hourly, the daily we haven't crossed the MACD, but, uh, we did, we definitely did on the four hour and then, uh, this little inside bar can be a sign of a, a reversal, excuse me. And today we did break the supports of yesterday. So we'll see if this ends up being a wick all down here or not. Uh, if it's a wick, that's better, but still pretty bearish. Anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's still flushing down there. Got about 30 minutes left. I actually have a long up here, so I'm hoping for a bounce before it close. Uh, Jimmy also sold off, so I got kind of bullish on Jimmy. I've been waiting for this, this thing to play out and do its stupid pattern to come back down here to 15 or 12 or whatever, um, like we did like we did back here and it just hasn't done it hasn't done it and then uh and then today i was looking at it and the options have gotten cheap so the iv is down the 80 percent uh at the money for next week oh this is a pretty bad bad close yikes i'm down down that yeah it's pretty good dang it um but now all of a sudden it's so the options got cheap. So I went, I went long on calls today and even bought some shares. And then we just had this sell off. So it's trading with the SPY, it's moving with the SPY. SPY sold off today, it sold off. But on GME's side, it is breaking out of this, this channel. Um, looks like today might even be a bearish MACD crossover, which bad. So good and bad. Good that it's, it's doing what we're expecting for so long that I lost patience on so much that I was, looking for bullish stuff like cheap options um bad because i just i went more long today because of those cheap options so might wait for a bounce today or we might not get a bounce tomorrow on it but if we do we'll probably close back out of those um yeah so this is looking if it does kind of keep coming down and we retest or even make a new low definitely looking more like march 8th or not march sorry february here there, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And that would actually line up date-wise because this was literally last February. And then it dropped to the lows into earnings and then earnings it rallied. So could be playing out the exact same way. Drop into lows, earnings are gonna be in March sometime and then we, we have a rip out of earnings. Um, it's definitely market dependent and the market is very scared right now. So that might be this move with the CP lie and then maybe a bounce. Ooh. Um, BBY also came down today, kind of had a gap up free market and then rallied up, it was up like 8% I think at one point, but then just started to sell off and then came down to the support from yesterday, broke that, fortunately made the support here at 2.5, broke that, and then wicked down here to 2.380, so bouncing now a bit, but the market's going the other way. Um, TA wise, it's it's been looking bearish. Like I said in yesterday's video, like we have a head and shoulders. Um, I guess there's just been so many news catalysts coming out that it's good rip. It seems like any time, but um, there's definitely head and shoulders there. Uh, we've got bearish on the MACD, on the hour on the four hour, um, and the daily. Now we've crossed bearish. We have a red under the nine. So just looking for one of these supports for it to hold. Um, the the last major one. 
that it should it should hold hopefully or it's make it a lot cheaper uh would be this two and a quarter right here the so two dollars and 25 cents um and it it might hit there tomorrow just gotta see if it finds support if it doesn't find it there um two dollars even and then i mean then you're talking about filling these gaps down here a dollar sixty dollar seventy this morning i actually jumped in um with more shares here on this bounce i figured this was the low retesting from yesterday and closed them back out for a small loss here and opened up more cash occurred puts today some here sorry i'm pretty distracted by the spy flushing right here <laughs> i'm hoping for a bounce that position's down a lot um Cash, some cash secured puts, uh, some here, some here. Open quite a few. They're two and a half strike for tomorrow, so psh, looks like I'll probably be rolling those down, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys the show you the plays. Uh, did a couple natural gas trades today. Went short here, worked out all right. Closed it out of VWAP. Um, and then on the options account. So there's the calls I bought. About 2250s for March 3rd. Ivy again is still very low, so not sure. Maybe March 3rd, yeah. I don't know. Those probably aren't gonna work out. Um, but I'll wait for a bounce hopefully to take care of them. I have the patience for that. And then yeah, I even got some GME shares today. And then the BY shares I bought, I closed back out of. And I opened up 42 and a half uh, cash secured puts on BBY for tomorrow at two and a half break. And then here's the GME shares, which I might close. And then on the Roth account, yeah, I end up closing those also. And on this account, I didn't change anything. I don't think I changed anything. Still have these two and a halfs. Oh no, these are three strikes. So I probably will have to roll these tomorrow. Three strike on BBY. And then these HKD shares, I actually might close them out after hours on a, on a bounce because it did break the low. Uh, HKD broke that low today that I didn't want to see it break. So I was hoping if it held above that 939, no problem, but it did break it. So I don't know how low this thing's going to go now. Um, it's oversold. We'll see if it does kind of an after hours move like it, like it has. If it does get a bounce up here, I'll probably close it in after hours. And then still have Hellbiz and then BBY shares and cash cured puts. I can't do cover calls on this account with them because, well, I could, but I can't day trade them. I'm just kind of holding those shares. Dude, the market is dumping right now. Yeah, should be down six and a half. And yeah, nothing, nothing new as far as as far as I know on BY news, uh, we're just kind of in the kind of in the holding pattern now. So that's what I got. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on Discord. Peace out.